being just coming here, we, we are invited to just taking it one moment at a time. Recognizing open intelligence one moment at a time. That's all we need to do, basically. We can apply these short moments, and a short moment is to allow everything to be as it is, for a split second. For one split second, we allow that train of thought to pause and recognize that there is something about us that is always present, always stable, always alert. So we just stop thinking for a moment and see what remains right there. That stability and presence, that openness that is always there and that what, that's what we are checking in in a short moment. In a short moment of recognizing that open intelligence, the ground of being, the power to know that we are sitting here, the power to know, the power that hears all these words now speaking, is always on, never goes anywhere. So with, with stopping thinking, we are introducing ourselves to that vast intelligence that is at the basis of our, all of our experiences, inseparable from all our experiences, like the color is inseparable from the sky. Our experiences are inseparable from that wide open intelligence that is always on and always present, right here. So we identify it with a short moment of recognizing open intelligence, and we repeat that again and again, whenever we naturally remember to do so. So we're testing it out during our, our day, when, when all of the thoughts come up, and all our emotions come up, all our sensations, and all these emotions, sensations, and experiences, we just simply call data, to keep it very simple in our experience. So data just come up, hang out for a while, and then they resolve, just naturally. And what we can do is just we can apply a short moment right there in the arising of all the d data. In the immediacy of a data arising, we allow it to be as it is. We don't need to change the, the flow of our data streams. We just allow all the flow of our data to do whatever it does. And we recognize that, wow, we don't need to do anything with our data to feel completely at ease within that flow. So no matter if we have happy thoughts, or angry thoughts, or joyous thoughts, or feel jealous, feel, feel left out, or feel whatever it comes up for us, we can allow it to be as it is. Nothing needs to change in our experience to feel completely at ease and potent in every moment. It doesn't matter what we feel, think, or do to really settle into our vast intelligence. That, that knows everything completely. In every moment, we have the ability to know what will be of most benefit to ourselves and others. That's so amazing, isn't it? That we just have that naturally. That's our natural state, the ability to know what will serve best in each circumstance. Now, I always wanted that because I was always unsure of of how to act or what to say to people. Will that be the right thing that I will do this or that, I was constantly um, judging myself and trying to um, analyze what would be best. So I used all my energy in that way. And I, I never came really to a, an inclusion. I was always unsure how to, how to be, basically, comfortably. And now, coming to this training, I was introduced to something about me that was always stable and always <coughs> knows exactly, and that I can more and more trust that. And that is just naturally more and more opening up in my, my um, reality, in my speech, in my way I relate, in, in how I want to use all my power and energy. And I was totally afraid of, of my power. I mean, I was also someone who always put, I put myself down. I didn't want to feel that power that, that I had. I somehow knew, okay, there's something I could somehow feel it, but I didn't want to, I, I was afraid of it completely. I was afraid of it because I, d I didn't know how to use it also. I was afraid to misuse power. I was afraid of what other people will think. I thought if I make myself small, other people will feel better and 
more comfortable around me. All kinds of ideas I had about that. So I didn't want to really step into my power. I wanted to be always like in the background. Definitely not. I'm not wanting to sit up here and share my experience. I mean, that was completely <coughs> out there. And, and, but just naturally, more and more, you know, settling into that power and that, that um, capability that we all have to really, um, yeah, step into our strengths, gifts, and talents. And we can allow ourselves time there to really get used to that power. That fear is also just a fuel to open up more and more. When we allow it to be as it is, we, we more and more find skillful way in how we, how we can contribute to the world, how we can really see more and more what are our strengths, gifts, and talents, and, and, and how do we want to implement them in our daily life, just naturally. But allowing ourselves time completely to settle in that. Allowing ourselves time and also allowing ourselves to take the support of the Four Mainstays there. Because the Balanced View um, training provides a complete support structure for us to really bring that about in our life, to bring about how can we utilize our strengths, gifts, and talents. How can we really um, tap into our potency as a human being? And we are completely supported th through that with the Four Mainstays. And the Four Mainstays are one of the short moments that I spoke about that we can apply in any moment of our life. Basically, whatever we are doing, we can always take a short moment. There's no data, no circumstance, no situations where we cannot take a short moment. So that's great. So that we can always do. And sometimes we come into circumstances where it's maybe harder to, to take a short moment, especially in data that we are so familiar with and, and, and so also like feeling, feeling like um, making ourselves down, for example, or <coughs> criticizing ourselves. That was m one of my main and favorite data that I, I did to myself. And I felt also comfortable with that in a very strange way. And I'm like, wow, why do I feel like negativity? I could feel a bit comfortable because it was really that what I kno knew about myself also. <coughs> so in a way, I, I emphasizing all these data streams felt very secure also in that way. But through the power of open intelligence, I could allow that to be as well as it is. All the data streams that, that come up for us, we completely break through. We can completely break through so that they don't affect the way we relate. They don't affect our sense of, of integrity or sense of well-being at all. No data. And that's what we more and more get to see when we allow everything to be as it is and utilizing the four mainstays. So, so there we can see that we can apply all the four mainstays in a very natural way. So as I said, the first was the short moments. Then I come back to the, the list of the four mainstays now. And, and the, the um, training is very powerful. We, we have a um, whole variety of trainings that we offer here that always bring us back to the recognition of open intelligence of the recognition of the inseparability of open intelligence and data, always bringing us back in one moment at a time. All the media that we have for free download on the internet, so you can just go to the web page, <coughs> download a talk. When all the data is stirring, just put a talk on, and suddenly we can allow ourselves to rest deeply with the data, completely. And then we can always reach out to a trainer. That's the, the third mainstay. Someone who, who has also just completely taken this, the responsibility of, of taking short moments in their life and training that up more and more. That can share from their own direct experience and guide us in that. It's, so, it's such a relief to see someone who, who can share from their own experience if they had data coming up and how they let all the data be as they are. So powerful. Because that, that gave me always the confidence that I can do it as well. That that is possible for a human being to allow, for example, anger to be as it is, or hatred to be as it is. All the things that I thought, wow, I need to push down and I need to not feel. 
And I thought, wow, somebody just allows it to be as it is and uses that energy skillfully to be of benefit. Wow. Suddenly my whole ideas about all my day testing just changed. More and more I saw what, what is the nature of my data? What is it really? And really getting to know that instinctively in my direct experience. And then we have the fourth mainstays of the community. Just all of us together making that simple choice to rely on open intelligence, prioritizing open intelligence and making that our primary focus for the benefit of all. Everyone wants to be of, of benefit. It's so beautiful how that just opens up the benefit of all. Just having that completely as our, our guidance in, in life. It, it's incredible that, we, that so many people, are, and, and everyone wants to be of benefit in one way or another. Even if we might come here for the first time and think, oh, I actually just want to be of benefit to myself. That's what I, I was when I first time came. I just wanted to feel good. I wanted to feel comfortable within myself. And that was perfect. And from that basis, it just allowed me to open up. Not only for, to think about my own well-being, but the well-being of everyone, the well-being of humankind. But it simply started with allowing everything to be as it is in my own direct experience and, and, and feel the, the um, well-being right there within myself. That I could open up and have that energy and, and potency just to open up to everyone in a very natural way. And that's our natural state of everyone. Everyone has that capacity. Every single person. And amazing to think about when every, every person claims that for themselves. Wow, what a wonderful world we live in. We already live in a wonderful world. And, and we can really make it the, the, that, that wonderful world for everyone, providing this beauty for everyone to live a life in peace and harmony and complete openness and open-heartedness with each other. So claim that power for yourself and for others.